Hi, my name is Kaz and welcome to Positive About MS, the website dedicated to looking at multiple sclerosis in a positive way. The aim of these videos is basically just to talk a little bit about what's on the website, not completely all about what's on the website, but more things that are probably difficult to read about or difficult to write about and they're probably better with the use of visual aids. It's a series of what I call hints and tips or experience shares uh, to help other people who are, might be affected by the condition. Okay, in this particular one it's, uh, we're going to look at what I call well, what I call the nervous twitch or the knee jerk reaction or the nerve jerk reaction as I like to put it. It's basically um, talking about things that I could do that I can't, that, well things that I could do that I can now can do but in a very strange way. The example I'm going to use is, um, is uh, basically when, when I was in the shower. I was basically sat in the shower on my bath board, just finished having the shower and waiting for my body to cool down. Obviously as we know with the heat having the effect on MS it's best, usually best to take a bit of time to let your body uh, time to recover. Anyway, while I was sat on the bath board I was just, like I say, waiting for my body to cool down a little bit and I opened the tap and just sprinkled some cold water over my legs. As I did that the legs just flipped out and just kind of almost like a knee jerk reaction where a doctor might kind of use a hammer to, to hit you on the knee and your leg pops out. A similar thing to that but this time it was with water. What surprised me about that was that it was, I mean, my nerves aren't meant to be working and that's hence the problem with MS. I mean, as, as we all know, the messages from the brains aren't getting to the rest of the body. The nerves in the middle, that's where the problem is, hence your MS. But what I found was when I, was, when I put the cold water on my legs, it kicked out so violently almost I cut myself I mean I cut my toe on the actual tap and it made me think hang on why does my leg do that I mean if I want to I cannot do that at all I can't lift my leg up if I wanted to and to throw water on it and for the leg to kick up in a way I couldn't possibly make it do it's very I don't know what the right word is but it's, it's surprising but also encouraging it means there's something down there that's still working so the legs still want to move there's a way of doing it the traditional method, which obviously would be me telling my leg to move, doesn't work, but there's something else that, and something else tells it to move, it does move. I mean, I spoke to someone who might be in the know about this, and they just said to me that it's possibly down to just almost like a knee jerk reaction or something of that nature, or just a natural reaction where your leg just pops up. But it still made me think, I mean, I might be completely wrong here, but it just made me think that maybe there is something, and maybe there is something to it, and um, maybe there is a, there is a reason for why this should, should happen as i said i mean as i've said in previous videos i'm not a medical professional i'm not a medical expert i'm just someone with ms who's basically looking for answers and noticing any patterns or trends i might have uh, that I might go through um and uh, basically it's that's about it really i mean it's not really a <laughs> it's a, a huge issue but it's like i say it's a bit of a hint, uh, hint and tip well possibly not even a hint or tip it's just more of an experience share and just kind of letting you know uh, letting you know what i've what I've, what I've noticed and seen if anybody else has noticed it or if you've noticed anything else i mean like i say feel free to leave comments or contact me through through uh, through youtube or through the website and hopefully uh, we can uh, like i say make it a mess a bit more bearable and make it a bit more well find out a bit more about it and uh, anything else that might cause well anything interesting about it that can help kind of at the aim to help look for a cure for our look for something that'll make life a lot lot easier for us okay thank you very much